Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a double Louis Vuitton handbag unboxing. Oh yeah, baby. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Okay, so I have talked about both of these bags, definitely one more than the other, uh, but I, I'm really stoked. I am really, really stoked. Okay, here it is in the shopping bag. Um, I tried to put it back, Not well, the item's not in here, but I tried to leave the packaging looking the same as when I got it, and the receipt is God knows where. Oh, it's down here. It's right here. It's, it's right here. Okay, so the first item, here it is in its dust bag that says Louis Vuitton. And I love these drawstring dust bags more than like the flap ones because I think that the, this is where it's at. This is what Louis Vuitton needs to include in all of their bags moving forward, right? All right, so any guesses as to the handbag that I picked up? I am so, so excited about it. It's even more beautiful. Even though I've seen this bag like in the flesh, it's it just looks different to me. I don't know, it makes me feel like giddy uh, but I, oh, okay, shut up, just shut up, Minnie. The, one of the newest handbags to my Louis Vuitton collection, the beautiful Speedy 25 Bandolier in the Demi Azure. So you guys know I am a sucker, sucker for Demi Azure. I have been thinking about going for the 25 Bandolier and I just went ahead and did it. And I'm so, so excited. Look at how bright this leather is. To be honest, I know that some people aren't a fan of how uh, light this leather looks when you first get it, because obviously it's gonna oxidize, it's gonna patina, it's gonna have this golden, uh, this beautiful golden color. But right now, I will admit, it kind of looks like E.T. when he's sick. You know when he's sick and he has that, that sheet on or whatever and he's like, eh, that's what I think that this looks like because it looks, yeah, it's it looks like a little sick E.T. But I am so, so, so stoked about this bag. The bandolier, you guys know, has completely just won me over. Uh, it's amazing. It offers so incredibly much and yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited. I am so, so excited. Okay, so this is, it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France, and I apologize if it starts to kind of get really dark. Um, but what I did notice, compared to the other Speedies that I have in my collection, the hardware, it's all shiny. If like if I look at my uh, my other bandolier, it has two different types of hardware. It has matte hardware, and then it has some shiny aspects to it. Uh, and then some of my other like my classic speedies, those all have the matte hardware as well, or like the um, not the matte hardware. I'm sorry, the brushed hardware, uh, just to help it not look as scratched up when you do get scratches on those pieces. But the fact that it is now shiny gold hardware everywhere and everything is, you know, is the, exactly the same makes me so, so, so happy. I love the way that this looks. I think it's amazing. I like the, the fact that the leather is so white uh, and I like that it's going to take me a little bit of time to give it that, that patina that I'm looking for when it comes to Damia Zor. Okay, so let me open it up. And I have to share something else with you guys, but here is the bandolier strap. Sometimes I use the bandolier strap, other times I don't. Uh, but bright, bright white on that one as well. Here's the little dust bag for the lock. Oh my God, how cute is this? I have a couple of these, but this is so cute. Hold on, hold on. I don't like to put the locks on any of my speedies. I don't know why. I mean, I like like the clanking. You guys have heard me talk about the clanking like on that bag. I like the sound that it makes, but for some reason I'm not fond of hearing it on the on the speedy. So there's a little lock and then the keys in here. I don't know. Okay, so the reason why it has a little bit more shape to it is because I already got an organizer for it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I already got an organizer. I got a Zumoni uh, organizer. They were so incredibly kind and they sent me one. And I think that this is in candy pink, if I'm not mistaken, in the two mil and the two millimeter. Uh, but I got the pink for the Demi Azure. I love the way that it looks. But on the inside, you have one little 
zippered slip pocket and then just an open compartment because there are so many possibilities when it comes to the Speedy. But I, I am so, so excited. I am so happy about this bag. Um, like I said, I had been contemplating going for the 25 bandolier. I was like, I don't know, I don't know. And the reason why I contemplated it for so long is because I have the classic 30. And for me, uh, in Damien Azor, and the classic 30, to me is like the perfect handheld bag. But at the same time, I wanted something that I can use uh, with a with a chain if I wanted to. And I wouldn't add a chain to the Classic Speedy just because I don't want it to wear funky as time goes by. And the fact that this has the D-rings obviously on the side and it has a little bit more, um, a little bit more, uh, not structure, but it has these so that way it kind of protects the bag from wearing funky as time goes by when you add a chain. Um, I was like, you know what, just just go for it, dude, just go for it. And I couldn't be happier. Damia Zor is definitely my second favorite print. My favorite print of all time is Damia Ben, but Damia Zor, to me, I think is amazing with, uh, with, a, with a honey golden patina that it gets. I think it's beautiful. Is it prone to color transfer? Yeah, but dude, just enjoy the bag, just enjoy the bag. And you know, these little squares are known for yellowing as time goes by. Does that bother me? No. Um, my classic Speedy 30 in Damien Azor is actually pretty yellow. Uh, it's actually, it's, it has the, the most yellow tint of any of my Damien Azor pieces, but I, I love the way that it looks. To me, this is an, a year round type of print. It's not just for, for spring, it's not just for summer, although that's when I end up using it the most, but it's, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, I'm so happy. Ah! I can't wait for the patina, and I seriously cannot get over the shiny gold hardware. Look at that, it's it's awesome. This, this is what they should have been doing this whole time instead of having two different types of hardware. Although, um, yeah, well, this one has the brushed hardware there compared to everything else, but I'm stoked. I'm so stoked. I love it. I love it. One of the questions that I get asked most often when it comes to the 25 is if I find the opening to be too small. I personally don't think so. I usually like to go for smaller SLGs in here anyways, uh, but I will admit that when I got my monogram one, the opening was a little bit stiff just because it hadn't been used. And obviously you guys can see that this one is also not stiff, but it's not as relaxed as it will be the more and more that I end up using it. Um, um, but it doesn't scratch my hand. It's not uncomfortable or anything like that. Uh, so I, I love the size 25 and I also think that this is great for, no, not a fan Theo. I don't think, I don't think he's a fan. Uh, I think that this is great for handheld as well. The fact that it does come with the strap is a total, total game changer. And I will freely admit that because I was, I was dead wrong when it came to the Speedy Bandolier and now it is definitely one of my favorite, one of my most used Louis Vuitton bags. But, um, you know, is the Speedy, is the Speedy over? No, absolutely not. This thing will forever, will forever be a classic and an icon to the brand in my opinion. So that's the first one, all right. I know I got so chatty there, but I can't help it when I get so excited. I just, I feel like I could sit here and talk about bags forever and a day and never get sick of it. Do you guys feel the same way? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's 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 when you know that you have found your people, you know what I mean? Your fellow handbag lovers. Because I don't think that anybody else gets it the way that we do. We get excited and we could talk about bags always, always, right? Uh, all right, so here is the second one. There is the shopping bag. There is a receipt. And I also try to put this one <laughs> with a little packaging back together. All right, hold on, let's put this over here. Okay, any guesses as to this one? There we go, there's the dust bag. Also came with the drawstring, so that made me happy as well. And this one, like I said, I haven't talked about too often, but um, there's another handbag in my collection <clears throat> that, uh, <laughs> that really opened my eyes to this style. Uh, more than ever before, and I, I I think it's amazing. I think it's absolutely amazing. All right, so the second Louis Vuitton bag that I have added to my collection is 
the Noe BB in the monogram canvas. So like I said, the Petite Noe in the multicolor was the bag that really made me view the Noe in a completely different way because for the longest time I was not a fan of the drawstring closure because I had other handbags in my collection that had the closure. I thought it was really fussy, but because of that bag, I fell in love with the style and I had the Noe BB on my Louis Vuitton wish list on the app for like forever. And it ne it was never available, never, ever available. Uh, and then one day I was uh, checking out the website and I was just looking at my wish list and I saw it on there. I saw that it was available and I totally jumped. I hit, I hit add to cart before I can even process what happened. I was like, holy smokes, it's available. But anyways, let me give you guys a really quick tour of it. This one also has the shiny gold uh, hardware, which I think is really nice because my backpack actually has the the brushed uh, gold hardware but this I love the I like how shiny it is so here is the front side there is a side view back view side view on the bottom obviously you have a quite a bit of leather and this guy says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France the Noe BB also comes with a removable adjustable strap that you can use uh, crossbody um, as a shoulder bag I think this might be a little too long for for me uh, but it does have that option and then on the interior what is this oh here's a little tags uh, no ABB monogram and then the little this thing what is it a textile card I wonder where's the the 25 does it have a little textile textile card I would assume it has it in here let me check it does it has the textile card oh and there's a little uh, for the speedy I'll put that on the description box below but on this one it does not have any pockets. It is just an open compartment. Let me undo this little guy here so you guys can see it a little bit better. There we go. It is just an open compartment and it does have a little D-ring on the inside as well. But I love this style. I love the history of the Noe. It was meant to carry champagne. And um, I love that. I absolutely love that. But again, look at the hardware. It's all shiny. It says Louis Vuitton. All of these little guys have Louis Vuitton. These rings here have the shiny gold hardware as well. Uh, now, I don't see myself using the strap that um, that it came with just because I'm not too fond of crossbody bags. Uh, I do like the option that I have to carry it that way. And um, I don't know, I might use it as a shorter shoulder bag, but I mostly see myself using this bag as a little top handle bucket. And the way that I'm gonna do that, let me close this back up. I actually don't like the sliders for these either. It would make it a lot easier to get in and out of the bag, but usually, like with this one, I have it set at a certain, at a certain, uh, you know, I have it set on here to where it makes it easy for me to get in and out of the bag without having to undo it. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Hang on, let me, give me a moment, because I wanna show you guys the top handle. I actually ordered another one because this one is a little too small. But this is from Organize My Bag. It's a little too short, uh, but let me just show you guys what it's going to look like. Because as of this recording, the one that I ordered, I bought it on Etsy. Uh, it has not arrived, but if it arrives by the time that I end up uploading this video, I will insert a clip like right here so you guys can check it out. But this is what I am looking for. I love the way that this looks. I can use it as a top handle bag. I can use it on the crook of my arm. I could kind of get away with using it on my shoulder, not really, because it ends up hitting right underneath my arm. Uh, but I love the way that this looks, a little bucket bag, and I think it is amazing. But this guy is just a little too short. I do believe that this is 19 millimeters and I want it to match the side, um, the side leather here because this is 20 millimeters. So the one that is arriving is 20 millimeters and it's 15 and three quarters of an inch uh, in length. And I believe that this one's right at 15 inches. So it's gonna be a little bit longer uh, and therefore it might be a little bit more comfortable if I want to use it as a, 
as a shoulder bag. Although I just like it like this. And if I wanted to add the longer strap just for decoration, I can do that as well. Or I can add a chain to it instead and maybe have this guy hanging. I don't know, but I feel like you can really play around with this bag. You can really dress it up. And it's just an open, it's just an open little bucket bag. And you know, it fits everything that I need in here. Uh, it can easily fit some of your, um, some of your larger SLGs. Um, and you wouldn't have any issues with that either. But I mostly see myself going for medium to the smaller SLGs again, just so I can maximize my space. But I am excited to say the least. So we have the Noe BB in the monogram canvas and we have the Speedy 25 bandolier in the Damia Zor. Look at the difference for the leather, just to give you guys, you see the difference? I feel like this one's a little bit brighter. No, do you guys see it on camera? Does it, does it sound like I'm nuts? Because it might look like it's the same on camera, my God. But I promise you, this guy's a little bit, a little bit lighter, but it does look like, it looks like E.T. when he's sick. I'm not a fan of E.T. either. That thing creeped me out when I was younger. Hated it because it scared me. And I don't think I've ever watched E.T. again, but like that that movie is like is burned into my memory and when he gets sick that is burned into my memory um i don't know but i i am super super excited about these two uh one of the questions i get all the time is why do you always go for canvas when it comes to louis vuitton how come you don't get leather why don't you get leather i used to have vernie uh and i've had on prompt pieces obviously you guys know i have the felici uh but i just love louis vuitton's canvas i think but Louis Vuitton does canvas better than anybody else. And I usually like to go for to other fashion houses for leather, but um, canvas, can, I mean, their canvas is amazing. And these two, I think are obviously classics to the house, but the BB, it's not so BB, right? It's not so, like super tiny. It's not a micro, it's not a nano. Um, so now I have three Noe's in my collection. I have the Nano no, uh, the nano Noe, I have the Petite Noe, and the BB Noe, but yeah. So there we go. My two new Louis Vuitton handbags. But anyways, that does it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.